Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you a simple calculated hash or you can say that just plain uh, text in convert into the uh, hash that is more secure. If you want to use uh, AD.NET and you want to convert your password into the hash uh, looking like identity then you uh, want to protect your password from brute force attack. Okay, so uh, here we have input text and generated salt is there like that in the 16 uh, 16 bit length you can say so here we have a generated salt and key derivation dot here I'm using pvkdf2 technique to convert uh, that simple text into the uh, into the password hash okay you can say that uh, pvkdf2 algorithm is specified in RFC in, uh, 2898 that return a derived key okay so uh, that is more secure uh, from uh, you can say that MD uh, uh, MDSHA uh, 512 uh, from uh, for the brute force attack so here I am using input that is a plain text and the salted value that is generated salt and key derivation pre PRF uh, class file that is enumeration Microsoft that ASP.NET Core dot cryptography dot key derivation provide that uh, enumeration and that enumeration use HMA CH CSHA 512 techniques and that is the uh, represent a 32 bit signed integer number and that is also a number and after that that uh, bytes is actually convert into the uh, 64 bit length convert dot two base 64 string that is the salt value and combined with the colon convert dot base 64 string that's byte okay now the generated salt is there uh, like looking like that here we have a salt that is length is 16 so byte array with the 16 length random number generator by using random number generator class dot create so random dot get bytes of the salt <coughs> okay and return the salt and that finally convert that simple text into the password looking like that and just I am opening my uh, SQL Server Management Studio also and here I am using adio.net technique to convert a simple text into the password so here I am using uh, login partial page and you can see that here we have a registration page so here I'm using uh, ad.net technique to add username and the password and the user data okay so connect that and you can say that uh, that is the sign in method and here I'm using register during the registration your the user existing query that is select star from user table where username is this okay and email is this if it is anyone is there then you can say that already exist if user is exist true then username and email already exist so return view redirect and uh, login partial but if it is not exist then convert the simple text into the password salt so password salt is there dot calculated hash and in which you can just pass the vm dot password that is the plain text and just vm dot password put it here and convert back to the uh, string in the byte form okay and after that vm password is set into the converted hash and you can say that that value will be inserted into the database table like that when we click to register button and you can say that here uh, I'm using MA is my name and email is MA at the rate of gmail.com and the password is also MA MA is the password name and contact number is looking like this and address is New York okay so just click to register button and you will see that you're uh, logged into the successfully logged in but you can say that ME 
is uh, actually assigned into the data with their hash password so only uh, so only this line of code will help you to convert simple text into the secure more secure password like that that line of code will be generated okay and generated salt is looking like that with the random number so here we have bookstore db so here i'm using tables and just after that i will show you so uh, here we have a user table and added top 200 rows so you can say that me me and the password is looking like that so how to compare uh, how to logged in during the login how to check the checksum value so by using the line of code that is check match that is the hash value and the input value so that is converted into the colon so the parts is hash dot split with the colon so here we use colon okay so convert dot from base 64 string parts of zero to salt and the next one is to byte so key derivation pbkdf to the technique input salt key derivation and the technique name is hma c s h a s h a 512 and 10 thousands and 16 bit so equally part is divided parts one dot equals convert dot base 64 string and convert into the byte form and that will return true as well as false if it is true then return login partial and you will help in the sign in method in the sign in method you can say that that value will be checked by using password salt dot check math user detail dot password that is entered by the user during the login and that is the password that is getting from the user details so user detail dot password is actually uh, getting from the database table that is the hash password and that is the plain password if it is check match then return your roles and assign to the user roles as well as uh, all the data from the user table thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and many more so only this line of code that is calculated hash generated salt and check match password will help you to convert your plain text into the password salt thank you very much for watching this video